Hi, this is Michelle Sullivan. I'm at the American Association for Cancer Research. I'm talking with Dr. Lana Kandeloft, who will be discussing um, a novel two-step immunotherapy regimen for women with recurrent ovarian cancer. Dr. Kandeloft, the um, regimen has two parts, um, stimulating dendritic cells and T-cells. Yeah, so the first part, we uh, create a personalized vaccine for patients with recurrent ovarian cancer. What we do is at time of surgery, we um, uh, store the tumor, we take the tumor and uh, keep it in a, in a live format and store it in a live format in mm -hmm. a sterile manner. And then we uh, freeze it. And then when the patient is ready, she can come to enroll in our trial. And what we do is we collect the blood portion. We do an apheresis, which collects the blood portion of, uh, of, of the patient. Mm -hmm. And we uh, uh, create, take those dendritic cells from the patient, uh, thaw the tumor out, which we already have, treat it with some chemicals to make it more immunogenic uh, so that the uh, immune system can recognize it mm -hmm. better. And then we get the dendritic cells uh, uh, mix them with the tumor cells and then we create the vaccine. This mm -hmm. is the dendritic cell vaccine which we inject in the patient intranodally in the groin region mm -hmm. and the patient gets about five vaccinations um, and then we assess uh, at the end of study and that's uh, about three months. Right. Um, then at the end of study what we do is we also now collect those vaccine prime T cells. So once we vaccinate the patient, we hope that we are now educating the system, uh, mainly those T cells mm -hmm. in the body to um, attack the tumor and recognize it. So what we do is now we isolate those tumor cells, we collect them, we expand them ex vivo in the laboratory, right. and then we can reinfuse them in the patient so that we can maximize this immune response that we mounted. So, so far you've treated 31 patients and you've had either a 61% or 75% response rate, depending on the patient population that you're looking at. Yeah, so the patients who, who uh, at the end of the vaccine study, we got about 64% mm -hmm. clinical benefit. And when uh, 11 of those patients uh, went on to receiving the two-stage uh, uh, immunotherapy approach, right. so they got the vaccine followed by T-cells. And here, the 11 patients that we, were, that we treated, seven of them responded. Uh, basically, they did not progress, mm -hmm. uh, so progression-free. And uh, that was, um, and that's about 75%. Mm -hmm. One of those patients actually had a complete response at the end of the two-stage immunotherapy approach. In your patient accrual, it's possible for women who don't live in the immediate vicinity of the University of Pennsylvania still to participate. Yes, uh, as long as the tumor is stored properly at time of surgery, as long as the patients have those tumors banked, um, and it can be done with private providers out there, um, or they can come to Penn and have their mm -hmm. surgery, of course, um, we can enroll them in the trial if they meet the eligibility criteria, mm -hmm. of course. So if we have enough tumor cells, if uh, you know their performance status is, is, is right uh, within, there are s several exclusion criteria that are out there that we exclude patients for their safety right. uh, from this trial. For this patient population, there's not a whole lot of, of therapies left out there that benefit them. So something that has up to a 75% positive response rate, that sounds pretty impressive. I mean, we, we are very excited. I mean, this, 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 is, this is still preliminary data, but uh -huh. there is promise. I think there's promise in this field uh, of immunotherapy. Uh, it's still, the vaccine still needs uh, more uh, improvements in the lab and we're working on mm -hmm. that. We want to improve the vaccine, improve the combination, and uh, try to also improve uh, the, the results that we get in the clinic. Mm -hmm.